what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is ben your host so today when it comes to watch os 18 the latest update for the apple watch i'll be happy to let you know that if we go into our software update page you can see we have watch os 11 developer beta 6 that just came out and on my apple watch ultra one this comes in at exactly 376 megabytes so it's not too big of a file and at the same time it does have some few bug fixes and issues that I was experiencing that I'm looking forward to testing and seeing if this addresses those but just before I update you can see the version that I'm coming from it has a build number of 22R5328 to 8e so it ends with an e and at the same time i want to show you the other update that apple released today because this is not the only one in fact it's been a busy day such as uh, other updates such as ios 18.1 and ipad os 18.1 beta 2 were released we also have mac os 15.1 1 beta 2 i did a video on that ios 18 beta 6 we have iPad OS 18 beta 6, Mac OS 15 beta 6 and TV OS 18 beta 6 which I covered in addition to Vision OS 2 beta 6 and Watch OS 11 beta 6 of course this is a video for that. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech so if you wanna get to know what's new within these updates definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now I'm just quickly going to finish updating and then we're gonna see what's changed with this update. My device has now been updated to the latest watchOS 11 beta 6 right there and going into the settings of this device settings and then if we go to see the new build number that we have general and then about you can see the new version that we have watchOS 11.0 with the build number 22R 5340A so this build number now ends with an A and in terms of stability this is good news as we've taken about five steps in the positive direction and this just goes to indicate that we are even more closer to weekly release cycles because before this point we were always on about two week release cycles for watchOS 11 betas but we might soon be going to a weekly release cycle and with A builds it means that you know this resolves a bunch of issues that i'll be testing such as the battery drain but no further comments on that as it needs to be tested in order to find out if that has been fixed so one of the new features and changes that i have to highlight it has to do with watch os 11 in general since i haven't covered it before and that is with an updated animation on shazam when you are using your iPhone to play music or if your iPhone is playing audio and you use Shazam on the Apple Watch using Siri to be able to trigger the music identification it seems to have a new animation and that's one of the things that I noticed while using watchOS 11 and before I updated I actually recorded a video just to show what I was experiencing on my new application that comes on watch os 11 which is this new virus app and you can see right here if i click and open it this time around it's actually opening and you can see my overnight overnight virus is actually very typical for this time range and you can see my heart <laughs> heartbeat rate per minute it's interesting even though i'm not wearing my apple watch it's still showing that which is okay it's typical and at the same time if you go to the next section which is respiratory rate you can see it right there this won't be exactly 100 percent accurate as i'm using my apple watch right now and showing you as i record this so respiratory rate and then you can see wrist temperature of blood oxygen and the last thing is sleep duration so it's about typical and before i updated i had an issue where this was not at all functional it would open to a black screen and it's good to see that that issue has been resolved and this is one of the main reason i actually updated to watch os 11 to be able to monitor my overnight vitals and keep them in a typical range also another issue that i'm hoping this update fixes i haven't yet gone to bed i'm hoping to finish this video by today but there was an issue before where the optimized charge limit where your watch is supposed to learn from your 
sleeping habit and your focus mode that you set and be able to charge accordingly and it will use your sleep schedule and your habits to be able to determine when to charge your apple watch from 80 percent to 100 percent but previously there was an issue with that and i'm hoping that now we since we have such a stable build that issue will be resolved which brings us to our next issue with watch os 11 so battery life on watch os 11 up to until now has been really bad a lot of users are complaining that in uh, on a watch where they were getting almost about a day and a half they aren't even able to go about half a day in my case usually on my apple watch ultra if i charge my apple watch to about 100 percent in the morning by the time i'm back home at the end of the day i usually have over 50 percent but you can see here in order for me to install this update i had to charge my apple watch to above 50 percent and that was about a few minutes ago but before i actually never had to do that before i went on watch os 11 beta so even me my battery life has been pretty terrible but i'm hoping that since we have this newly updated build which is more of a final build before we see an rc typically it's possible to go from an a build and go back in reverse to like a c it's something we've seen with watch os 11 or other watch os betas rather but hopefully that won't be the case and we'll get to test and better get a visual experience or get to experience how battery life is going to be on watch os 11. Now, a pretty cool thing that has been updated with this watch os 11 update has to do with the siri remote now you might notice if you use this on a daily basis that it was updated to depict the apple tv 4k remote that has USB C, and if you open it and you are using your apple tv to try and navigate around you will also be able to use your apple tv to access the rich metadata by just pressing and holding on a show while wearing your apple watch and that is possible not just when you are accessing the apple tv app now playing or the suggested tab but also in the library section you can press and hold and instead of playing a show it will give you the ability to see the rich metadata where you can see different information about actors and what their roles are and see other movies they might have appeared in and i thought that's something that's cool also when it comes to this update since you get a notification when one of your overnight vitals is out of the typical range for example if you're sleeping less than usual and your watch sends you a notification thanks to steve moza we now know that harmonia is the code name for the overnight vitals notification that's sent out on watch os 11 and ios 18 that's just a code name that helps able to be able to distinctively tell that notifications from other default app notifications if you use your apple watch to access your car by means of car keys such as different bmw and hyundai cars you have the ability to use your apple watch as a car key if it wasn't working before i'll be happy to let you know that apple has fixed an issue with that and it should now be working with this update going forward also there was an issue where cycle tracking widget could lose background legibility on watch face with a black background or if multicolor option is selected and it would lose the functionality option for cycle tracking so if that was an issue i'll be happy to let you know that that has been fixed and your health can now be measured good and if you use that such widget then you also be able to access it without any issues regardless of whether you have a colorful watch face or one that has like a plain black background such as a black photos watch face there's also a fix in the podcast application on watchOS 11.6 where if you are playing a podcast plus subscription audio it might have caused the podcast app to crash but 
after updating that issue has also been fixed now i'm kind of jealous for the us because canada i don't know why they are delaying in bringing the digital id to wallets on the apple watch because if you're having an issue where you were unable to represent your digital id on watch os 11 in certain states in the us and that was an issue well that has been fixed with this update and once you update to watch os 11 at least this beta going forward then you'll be able to represent and show your digital id accordingly without any issues so basically as you can see this is how this watch os 11 beta 6 came in for me on my apple watch ultra one let me know if you are thinking of updating it does seem to indicate that it's going to be more of a stable build with an a but definitely needs to be tested as it's still a beta it's not the rc yet and even when the rc comes out sometimes they release an rc version too so i'll keep testing it and if there's any major issues that i get to see or that i experience then i'll let you know so stay safe and i'll see you in the next video pretty soon and then i'll be dozing off in a few minutes peace